yeah all right guys welcome back again my name is daniel onigo and today i'll be showing us how to remove background from images yes there are many websites you can use to remove background from image today we are going to be focusing on pz lab so before we start click on that subscription button and turn the notification bell on so that when a video here you can see it firsthand and use it to increase your digital asset all right let's get to details let me remove this test in our background here and delete it delete it all right let me import the image we're going to use from my gallery Alright. Okay. Alright. Let this. Let me use it. This. Okay. This is the image I'm going to use. Let me wait. Okay. Having seen the image, alright. What am I going to do now? I'm going to click out on the box that's clicking out, clicking on the empty space so that I can leave clicking on this empty space just like this here. This is an empty space. Alright, I've done that. It has deselected. Alright, I'll go over to my image editing tool. I've shown us this before. Our uh, image editing tool. Our uh, image editing tool. That's the second one here. That's it. Now, if I click on it, I select my jewel draw pen i will draw brush i select it once i select it again please listen and listen well because so many persons they do make mistake here and their work will not come out as expected once i come to this place i'm going to choose a color choosing a brush color that is not the same as any color in this picture so i'm going to choose a neutral color so you can click on this plus here near the color to select the color let it out all right let me move this to blue use blue okay because i'm not seeing blue here so once i select blue i can now start my tracing You can click on this uh, zoom icon here so that you can zoom out your work and after you zoom out you click it back so that it can close all right let me zoom out once you click on it you can use your hand your fingers to expand and bring to the place so that you can see it very well then you click back the click it back so that it will close so click it back so that it will close so you can continue your work all right i've clicked it out then i continue with my tracing to be my tracing to my tracing I 
think I've gotten the inside very well. Okay, let me zoom out so that I can get the other surface. All right, once you zoom out, okay. All right, I'll zoom out. All right, what I will do again? Let me increase the size of this pen so that. I can shade other places. Alright, once you are done tracing out your work like this, I seen it. If you, I seen it. If you make a mistake, there are eraser here. Eraser. That's this third one you can use it to clean off. You understand? Once you're done cleaning, you select it so that it can deselect and continue with your and that is automatically selected. Alright, so once I'm done tracing out, what I'm going to do now is to increase this pen size. This can be bold. Once it's bold like this, then I, I can shade the other parts of it. But please be careful why shading it. So that it will not cross the first part that you traced out. You understand? We use so it's not pass it. Okay. Be very careful. Be very careful. Be very careful. I think I have some error here. Let me delete. Close back, reduce my Bible. Select it out again. Okay. Let me increase my brush now. Oh, making this a mistake. Okay. Alright. Uh, Okay, once I'm done like this, I can select the good icon. Okay, what am I going to do now? Click on this icon. Click here. That's this. Click here. When you click here, you click on this. Click on this part of it. Here, click on it. Once you click on it, you can select the two images. Once you select on it, click here to merge them together. Click on this one to merge them together. Select it. Select OK. If you merge them together, click back to this place so that it can close. It can close. Alright, I've closed it. Once you have achieved this, next thing is now is to slide up. Slide up. Slide up and go to erase color. Erase color. That's this. That's this erase color. Alright, click on it. Enable it. Once enable it, click on this speaker. This is the picker to click on it. That's this. That's this. Click here. This picker to once you click on it, then select the blue surface. The blue surface. That's this surface. This is just this blue surface. Just select it. Are you seeing it? It's on this blue surface now. Then click your good automatically. Did you see what just happened? Did you see just what just happened? The background have left. All right, now so click on your good. Now your background have left. If you want to put a, another uh, image to serve as the background, you can put. But let us save it as PNG file since what we are doing here is just to remove background from image. All right, once it's like this. Click here. 
click on this third option here down here and this opens select transparent I see now I've selected transparent now you can save this image add you save click on your save icon which is this so let's save as image and you can save together automatically my image has been saved as a PNG file so this is how to remove background from image using PZ lab in our next video I'll be showing us how to remove background from different websites I know you will enjoy it please don't forget to subscribe and turn the notification bell don't forget to subscribe see you in the next video bye